Come on in here. Let me fix my hair. Yep, that looks okay. I got makeup on. We're good to go. I'm going to be doing some fussing today, so get ready. Come on, everybody. Let's get in here. I'm going to be... I'm going to be on my soapbox. Can you imagine that? Me getting on a soapbox. But I got a bone to pick. I have a bone to pick. So everybody get in here. I don't know what time it is. Let's see, it's 12. I'm supposed to have a show at two o'clock, so maybe we'll have two shows today. Maybe we'll run it, I don't know, but we'll we'll see. We'll make this one quick. And I'll probably harp on this when I get on the other show too. So everybody, we got 137 people in here. That's really a whole lot more than that, but that's all the number it shows me. Because we've probably got about 3,000 of you in here already. <laughs> well, okay. So this morning, I'm talking to Liz on Slack, and she's telling me, my eyes are all red and bloodshot. They're, they're watering, and I've got hives breaking out. And I said, go take a Benadryl. And she goes to her bathroom cabinet, and there is no Benadryl in her bathroom cabinet. And she doesn't know why there's not any Benadryl, but it come to find out her husband took the Benadryl with him to work. Now, <laughs> this means you need a backup Benadryl. She had to run to the store with two kids and get some Benadryl in her. And I was terrified. I mean, I have just been in major catastrophizing mode. Um, <clears throat> I, I've had experience with my daughter-in-law having an allergic reaction, and thank the Lord she was at CVS when she had a severe allergic reaction to an allergy shot, and they had to, you know, shoot her with an EpiPen at at the uh, at the drugstore. And Sarah calls her dad and says, "Daddy, mommy's not doing well." This is from a ten-year-old at the time. So anytime you have an allergic reaction and the more you have an allergic reaction to something, the, the more, um, the harder this allergic reaction is going to be. So Liz's dog had to go to the vet yesterday and get spayed, which is a responsible pet owner. And that's, that is absolutely wonderful. And, but Liz is highly allergic to cats. So the dog comes home and it's probably covered in cat dander and stuff. And she can't give the dog a bath. And, and she doesn't realize the dog has been around cats. She doesn't have cats in her. I said, I have two cats. I'm not allergic to cats. My sister is allergic. Sister, sister Patty is allergic to uh, the urine and to the spray. So, you know... I'm not allergic to cats, but Liz is. And so she had to run to the store. Well, I can't get her on the phone and I'm panicking. I should have stayed on the phone with her while she was going there. Anyway, I, I have been in a, I've gotten myself in a tizzy and so I need to calm down. But here is what I'm going to fuss about. I got my stick. I want you to go to your medicine cabinet and check your Benadryl supplies. Do this for me. Either Allegra, Benadryl, whatever. Benadryl's the cheapest thing you can get. M next week we are in our bathroom. And one of the missions are going to be check your supplies. But look and see if you need to get some Benadryl next time you're out. And if you have an allergic reaction and you know you have allergic reaction or you have heart issues and you may need some um, nitroglycerin. This is what saved Bruce Bamford's life a month ago. 
he had some nitroglycerin tablets on his key ring. Imagine that on his key ring in a little vial. Let me see if I have uh, some of those little vials in here. Oh yeah. And it's purple too. It's a little vial that you put a pill in and it stays protected. Look at this. It'll hold one pill and or two pills and this goes on your key ring. Get they're cheap. They're cheap. And put a Benadryl on your key ring and that way you'll always know you have it. I have a green one too. So folks, check your stashes. Check your stashes and make sure you have plenty. I have, I, I mean, it's come in handy for me. I have a little, little box that I keep in my purse that has some emergency stuff in it. And it has some Benadryl in there. And one time we were eating dinner with Andy Dodge and Eric, and I don't know where in the world we were, but Andy ate something and he started having a severe allergic reaction and it was shrimp. And his throat started closing up and we got some Benadryl in him and he got better. But that was a scary thing to happen. But I had Benadryl on my person, in my purse. And it was a powerful way. I'll have to show you my little little thing sometime that keeps keeps my purse organized. I don't care what, if it is illegal, you need to know that you can, you have access to a Benadryl, that you have access to a Benadryl. The police can bite me. I don't care because you need to have access to a Benadryl. Now my Benadryl is in a little, in a little foil pack and it says Benadryl on it. But if you're going to put it in, you know, nitroglycerin stuff. Now, another good thing is get plenty of vitamin C in you. <clears throat> so, so folks, let's look in our medicine cabinet cabinets and see what you need for emergencies. When you need it, you need it. And if it's not there, you're going to have to go get it. And that's going to make it, that, that's going to, that's going to make it hard. You know, if you're having an allergic reaction, call 911. You can't get in a car and I'm fussing at Liz right now. You can't get in a car with children. <laughs> I am stopped now. Yes, Liz is. You don't need to get in the car because what happens if you passed out? Yes, you got a five-year-old with you, but you could have a wreck. Anything could happen. So let's take care of ourselves. This is a way we take care of ourselves. Having the things we need on hand. You never know when something's going to happen. And being prepared. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. I love you. I love Liz. I want y'all all to be safe. I want you to be safe. Do you hear me? I want you to be safe. I want you to be safe. Okay, so let me get my little card out. Tomorrow is Friday. Today's Thursday. And... We're in the month of August, which is laundry day. Laundry all week long. We're doing a load of laundry each day. And I've been washing up some new towels. I've about got my compactor that's beside my dryer cleaned off. It's looking so good. Robert can't believe what I've done with it, you know. Then um, doing a load a day, a load a day. This week we, we're in our kitchens. My kitchen is looking good. I've got them darker color, so my, my, my stuff's fading out on me. Uh, we're decluttering every day. Something yesterday, I gathered up another bag full of stuff to take off and it goes to the car. And when I'm out, I will, I will donate it. Pampering missions. 
What are some pampering missions? Let me get my cards. Getting my cards right now. Got my cards. And I have my Sharpie. So, pampering missions. Well, let's do declutter missions first. Uh, yesterday we did utensils and we've done pantry stuff. Let's let's get rid of some baking pans we don't use. Baking pans. I can't talk and spell at the same time. I do good to spell anyway. So we're going to get rid of some baking pans. You know, you may have too many too many cupcake pans. Uh, that's a good one, brushing your hair a hundred times. Uh, <sighs> baking pans. Okay. Get rid of old pizza pans. Old pizza pans. You know, they get black and ugly and nasty looking and just, let's just get rid of them. What else? Where is my stick? There it goes. Um, what else do we need to get rid of out of the kitchen? Critter dishes. Dog bowls. Yep, I got some of those to get rid of too. Extra saucepan lids, I thought I saw. Okay, that's okay. That's that's our declutter. So, brush your hair a hundred times. Pamper list. Brush hair. I used to do that when my hair was down to my backside. Brush hair 100 strokes. 100 strokes. Okay. Declutter leftover mismatch. We didn't do Tupperware yesterday, day before yesterday, I think. Ha 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 ha. Extra drinking glasses. Okay, we're on to pamper stuff now. If I didn't, a pedicure. Let's paint our toes. Paint our toes. I like painting toes, but I hate going to get a pedicure. Don't want anybody touching my toes. Uh, paint our toes. Condition hair, that's good. Okay. Okay, now, let's see what else. And that's a couple of things. We're going to get a hundred of them, I promise you. We are going to get a hundred pampering missions. So I got my little box. I'm going to put these in my little box. That's done. And then I got more declutter stuff going here. We are on a roll. <clears throat> now, back to my list. We still got a lot of fires going on. Can you evacuate? You know, this is another emergency thing that we might be called upon to do sometime. An another great way to help with those elbows is to use a rag. One of our silver rags. They're on sale right now. $7.47 and you don't even need a coupon code. They are on sale right now. Get them while we have them. This is great for elbows and dry skin all over your body. It really, out armpits, help your deodorant work better. We've gotten testimonials on everything. So we have this sale going on. We have um, the multi-wand sale. This is $12.00. It's $22 when you get it with the, the, the mop handle. And then we have our mop. This mop, the extra large mop, is, is 
you can only get the mop and the handle and it comes with this so folks this will help you get your floors cleaned we had rain last night and yesterday afternoon and my floors are awful so as soon as i get off here i'm going to do my floors right quick really fast with my extra large mop so that's the deals of the day now we're going to talk about our basic thing our ba you know getting back to basics uh these basics really it's what's in this jar this is the basics the basics boil down to your morning routine your before bed routine and weekly home blessing hour this is the basics this is the basics so i'm gonna reach in here and i'm gonna grab one out and we'll see what it is because we're letting them tell us what to do it's part of our morning routine this is a good one what's for dinner now yesterday was wednesday that's the day we clean out our refrigerators but knowing what's for dinner every day and having a calendar that's big enough to write your menu plans on. Liz showed you how this week she posted a picture of her calendar. It doesn't take much, a little post-it note, and it'll go right on there. This is a great tool, and they're at such a good price right now, 20% off, you could get one that you just do menu planning on. Or you could get one that you just use in your bathroom to chart your weight and your health stuff. And, and you know, your, your, uh, if you don't want anybody else to see it, you just hang it on the wall in your bathroom. And then that way you've got a place that you can post your, what you're eating every day, whole nine yards, and your menu plans. So there you go. Get your calendar now. School's going to be starting real quick the mop head is out of stock no the mop head is not out of stock the the what's out of stock is the extra cloths but you can still get the head the mop head is not out of stock it's just the package with the cloths in it so just get the mop head by itself is $15.98. And you can still get that and you can still do floor, floors. So knowing what's for dinner every day and getting it on your calendar so your family knows what's for dinner, then you might actually get some help in the kitchen. And pull, knowing what's for dinner at 10 o'clock in the morning is going to help you get dinner on the table at at six o'clock at night you're not going to be standing in front of your refrigerator's doors thinking okay it's going to take 20 minutes to thaw up that whole chicken and then it'll take another hour to roast it so just know what's for dinner and sit down with some post-it notes and and in fact you can you can sit down with a bunch of blank note cards and write down favorite recipes write down the favorite recipes on a card and then you could let the kids menu plan say so hold them up and they can pull out each kid gets to pull out one and that's going to be the menu for the day that's going to be the one they help you with in the kitchen they become your um your sous chef that day so planning your meals can be a game too, just like this little game. You put them all in a jar and have fun with it. I got a sticky thing right there. I'm going to take off my table. It's a, it's a smiley face. So folks, knowing what's for dinner is a basic when you know what's for dinner. And if you know what's for dinner all week and you get that food in the house, you know, you can sit down and plan next week's menus right now. Are there different size calendars? Nope, there's just one size calendar. One size. And it is large. 
I think it's the dimensions on it. I don't have the dimensions in front of me, but I think it's 17 inches by 12 or 14 inches. But I don't have that right in front of me. But I and I don't have a tape. Do I have a tape measure? I might have a tape measure. This is a drawer I need to clean out. I do have a rubber ducky. I've got some. I've got our old original timer. I guess I need to throw it away. So folks. Get the calendar. You can get a 20% discount. The discount code is control 913. Control 913. Yep. No one wants for dinner. Keeps you calm. It lets you get things done early. Yesterday I cooked dinner. It was storming. It started storming about four o'clock in the afternoon. And I I I put a steak. We Robert bought one steak the other day. It was a pretty big steak. And so I put it in the marinade. I chopped up some veggies and put them in the marinade. Not with the steak, but separately. And we had teriyaki steak and roasted vegetables and fake mac and cheese with cauliflower and you know fake mac and cheese is just cauliflower and cheese that's a stupid name mac and cheese is one of my comfort foods and there is nothing that compares to mac and cheese i don't care if it is cauliflower it's not mac and cheese so they can't fool me i'm a mac and cheese connoisseur Okay, everybody, let me get off of here. I'm going to be back on here in another hour and a half. I got to get this uploaded and get ready to do another show. There's no, get, start thinking of some questions and we'll have a good show this, this afternoon. I love you all. I will talk to you in a little bit. I'm, I'm speedy. Go check those medicine cabinets. You hear me? I love you. Be back in a little bit.